Hi, I'm Johnny Depp with Enemy.com. Well, you know, the, the thing is about these two bands are sort of throwbacks to the 70s when it comes to just, we know how to do that 70s time of rock and roll show, which is just full out. You know, I mean, it's got everything in the world in it. And both bands are, are inherently th uh, theatrical. We only know one way to do it, and that's just to kill the audience. You know, I mean, to us, it's just, it's, don't ever go out there with the attitude of, gosh, I hope you like us tonight. You go out there and you grab them by the throat and you say, I'm here. You know, let, I'll let you go later. Uh, there was, you know, Guns N' Roses and Motley Crue and, you know, Cinderella and Poison and all these bands. And the thing that I liked about it was that it was glitzy. It was very glitzy and glam and, and it's when MTV started. So there was the perfect outlet for a three minute glitzy glam rock and roll show. So all these bands had to really look good, they had to play good, and they had to have hit songs. And it, you know, I mean, that's a pretty good combination. And Motley Crue were all of a sudden were these guys that looked like girls and were nailing every girl in town. And that was their image, you know. And everybody went, well, what's wrong with that? That seems like the right idea. The thing that impressed me the most about Motley Crue was Tommy, the drummer. You know, I looked at it and I said, Jesus, drummer is really good. You know, a, a lead singer always looks at a band and says, who can I steal out of this band? You know, that drummer was already on my list. I said, if this band breaks up, I'm, I'm grabbing this guy. And we've been coming here since 1969, 70. And uh, I mean, I don't think we've ever played anywhere in England where we didn't sell it out the, the venue. I mean, that's, I've been at Wembley 15 times now. You know, it's my 15th time coming up. So very loyal audience to me, which is really nice. You know, I mean, the London audiences have always been second home to me.